Hello, my name is Deanna Apps, and welcome back to On the Level with the Corps of Engineers. Today, I will be discussing our recent edition of the Great Lakes Water Level Future Scenarios product. The Great Lakes Water Level Future Scenarios product is not a forecast. Rather, it is a scenario-based tool that is driven by historical water supply data. The tool allows us to investigate the different meteorological and hydrological conditions impacting the Great Lakes Basin and how it affects water levels. You may find this product helpful to better understand the variability in water levels that could occur under certain scenarios. The scenarios created for this product are updated quarterly. Each lake graphic has water levels on the y-axis with feet on the right and meters on the left. The date along the x-axis is represented as month and year and stretches from December 2020 to December 2022. The black circle dots represent monthly long-term average water levels, and the dashes at the top and bottom represent the record high and low monthly mean water level for each month. The black solid line is the observed monthly mean water levels. If you follow that black line across the graphic, you will eventually reach the future scenarios. The gray shaded area represents the range of possible outcomes for water levels based on net basin supply or water supply data back to 1900. So given the current water level of Lake Superior, this gray area represents the range in future water levels if historical weather and water supply conditions were to occur. The new scenario this quarter is based on the development of a La Nina this winter. This graphic shows a typical wintertime La Nina weather pattern over North America, and what makes this year unique is that it's the second consecutive winter that a La Nina has developed. This edition of the Future Scenarios product showcases a purple shaded area that represents 10 years where La Nina conditions occurred during the previous winter and developed again the following winter. The purple shaded area represents the range in future water levels given that similar water supply and weather conditions were to occur. There are also three years of the 10 called out within the purple shaded area represented by the green, blue, and yellow lines. These help to show the variability in water level under different weather and water supply conditions. The orange shaded area represents our six month water level forecast that is updated each month. From analyzing each lake graphic, even though a La Nina is forecast to continue this winter, the purple shaded area and call out years indicate that there is a wide range of water levels that could occur. From the Corps of Engineers, I'm Deanna Apps, and thank you for watching this edition of On the Level. Check out the Future Scenarios product at the link below, and please visit our website and social media pages for more information on Great Lakes water levels.